Happening today, the next step in the years long effort to clean up and improve the site of the former Shingle Mountain in southern Dallas. NBC 5's Ben Russell live at Dallas City Hall here this midday to explain what exactly is happening here and what it will mean. Ben. And we'll start, Evan, with the what's happening. What's happening, to be clear, is a kind of procedural wonky meeting of the Dallas Planning Commission. But it is what they will vote on today, at least what they're expected to vote on today, that will lead to the significant effort that a lot of folks will likely be interested in hearing about. The Planning Commission is expected to approve a zoning change for the roughly 500-acre site in southern Dallas that was once, four years, home to this, Shingle Mountain, which was exactly what its name suggests, a giant environmental hazard in the form of an illegal dumping site at one point for 139,000 tons of roofing shingles that stood six stories tall. It was not just an eyesore, it was making people sick. Now it has since all been cleaned up, but the concern continues. This zoning change is meant to make sure nothing like that can happen there again. The people who live in that area, known officially as Floral Farms, east of 45, north of Interstate 20, want to protect the area from further heavy industrial development. They are asking to have the zoning change to agricultural, community retail, light industrial, and single family. And the Planning Commission agrees with that idea. Again, as we said, it is on their agenda today. They are meeting as we speak. They are expected to approve uh, that recommended zoning change, but that will have to come a little bit later. And we'll, of course, follow those developments today. Live in Dallas, Ben Russell, NBC5. Okay, Ben, thank you.